me to cultivate an inclusive working environment. It's around really challenging ourselves to be fair to, to our colleagues and to really make sure that we're not making unconscious choices um, and, and representing unconscious bias. To me there's a really good um, experiment that explains this. Um, there was a boardroom setting that had 50% women and 50% men and they were all actors and they were given exactly the same number of lines and exactly the same amount of airtime. Um, on watching the video back, um, all the men felt that the women had interrupted more uh, and had been given more airtime um, than the men dur during the session. And I think sometimes it's around really challenging some of those stereotypes that people have. So it allows women to have a voice um, and it allows anybody in the business to feel like they've got a fair challenge and a, and a fair voice. So I think there's a number of colleagues who are here working at the bank because of its values and ethics. Um, everything we do as a bank has values and ethics at its core and the workplace is absolutely part of that and that's evident from, from the moment you walk in the door. There's you know, colleagues involved in fundraising activities on a regular basis, there are the opportunities for colleagues to do up to two days of volunteering per year. Um, there's a whole range of ways in which colleagues can get involved in promoting values and ethics, whether it's to other colleagues or very importantly to our customers as well. I think bringing your own personal values and what you respect and hold dear should not be left at the door of an organisation. It's part of who you are. Assuming your values are aligned to that of the organisation that you work, then I think it's very important to trust your own instincts to bring that into the workplace and if you believe something isn't being done right or it doesn't necessarily hold true to your own uh, values then you should speak up and I think that's the opportunity of, of working in, in an organisation that differentiates itself on values and ethics. I think the value Stronger Together is particularly important for this organisation. We are a small organisation so we really really need to make sure that all colleagues are working as one to achieve what the bank needs to achieve and more importantly particularly in the challenging times I think it's an even stronger emphasis for this business to focus on that as a key uh, point of our values. So. For me, the Rochdale Pioneers are the cornerstone of everything that we are as a business. Um, they are the backbone of the brand and everything that it stands for. And actually, the Rochdale Pioneers have got a really important part for women. So the Rochdale Pioneers gave women voting rights uh, within the cooperative movement well before they were established across the UK as a legislation. Um, and as part of that, the, the whole Rochdale Pioneers almost predates the suffragette movement. So for me, it was a really great groundbreaking time for women and the cooperative should be all about that.